Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. And this is lecture series 17 Introduction to IoT dealing with cloud models. Come, let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. In previous videos, we have seen what is cloud computing. So, for a cloud computing to store different types of data, there is some model that is designed in a cloud. So, that cloud model has two model types that is service model and deployment model now this service model is further divided as software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service now the software as a service in short you can call it as sas s a a s platform as a service in short you can call it as pas p a a s infrastructure in short you can call it as aas i a a s and now the deployment model is further divided into private cloud, community cloud, public cloud and hybrid cloud. Now you will be seeing in detail about all these services and types of cloud. Now software as a service as I said SAAS software as a service. So now what is software as a service? You can take example as Microsoft Office 365. Now here you can see when this Microsoft Office 3, it is a kind of software. So now this Microsoft Office 365 software can be accessed by multiple users sitting at any location. Yes. So now this software as a service, it is providing different application. What application? Software application, not hardware application. It will provide many software application all those software application you can make use when there is an internet connectivity see it is not that see, even microsoft office 365 you can use without internet but but then when you want to access many features into it obviously you need an internet connection so with internet connection any kind of software can be accessed by any kind of users with the help of software as a service now this sas what 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 it does is it makes the user feel free that user doesn't need to worry about any updation of software application it itself does the software application it it uh, obviously it does uh, updation of its own version will be updated of its own and also what it does is if you want to access any software application it, this sas gives an opportunity to the user to install it without purchasing it is not that every time you have to pay an amount buy by the software and install it rather than you can directly install it without purchasing in any of your pcs or desktop now this software will be located in the cloud server so this is the cloud and all the softwares are located in the cloud now all these softwares are being used by multiple users now when multiple user, users are using obviously there should be a good scalability so that scalability is provided by your sas good scalability will be provided to the user where multiple softwares can be used by multiple user and next is platform as a service so for that we have taken google app engine as a example now what this pass that is pass a platform as a service does it 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 is available in the cloud and it can develop and run different application so how software application provided software resources to the users here this pass will be providing a platform to develop and run an application it is not that you purchase something install and then run an application if you have pass then you can run and develop an application in the cloud and the user can uh, by themselves they can develop and manage all the applications on that platform see every user is managing one one application now the user have no burden that is your pass is giving something to the user some service to the user what service it it the pass itself will install and manage the complete infrastructure like infrastructure is nothing but storage area memory space net 
what kind of network has to be connected what should be the bandwidth of the network what operating system should be used what kind of application is used based on the application what kind of operating system we need all those installation and managing of infrastructure will be made by platform as a service and next is infrastructure as a service so here we have taken example as google computer engine now this iaas will be providing infrastructure like storage networks and computer resources it itself a defaultly it produces all these resources to the user now the user can use all those infrastructure how they can use they need not purchase they need not pay directly they can use with the available uh, internet availability and this there is a cloud service provider available available in your infrastructure as a service where the user can use any kind of operating system and any kind of software because the service provider will take everything all the resources from the databases and through networks it is allocated for different users and next coming into deployment model there are four types private cloud what is private cloud it is obviously like when you are owning an organization that particular organization will have a cloud server where the data uh, uh, that is applied for that organization will be available on that cloud so when an organization is owning a cloud which is not accessible for all people rather than the people working in the organization then it, it is called as private cloud then what is community cloud community cloud is nothing but see uh, with friends we will start some or small organization for small pocket money so it is a community organization so that organization you can share the interest of organization like in facebook you will have a separate page for some organization where you will be uh, you will be seeing a data shared continuously so such community when they are using a particular cloud then it is known as community cloud and then what is public cloud public cloud is nothing but a server where all people can access it is not that a particular organization can access any kind of person third party whatever end user who is they can access the public cloud say suppose i i can tell you an example of internet i mean uh, railway system uh, whatever seats is available how can the booking can be done so any user can access that website and keep moving taking data and fetching the data and based on the availability they can keep booking the data so that is known as public cloud hybrid cloud is nothing but it is a combination of your public cloud private cloud and community cloud so all these combined together will have uh, will form a cloud called as hybrid where a particular organization have uh, can access the data from hybrid cloud or single individual can access the cloud third party can access the hybrid cloud or community can access the hybrid cloud there is no restriction in using that hybrid cloud so this is about your service and deployment model stay tuned for more information thank you